everybody, welcome back to another video. So the Yankees finally made a deal. They made a trade, but it's not the trade we're looking for. They were able to get rid of Lucas Lickie and get something for him because they DFA'd him last week and they were able to get two pitching prospects from Atlanta for him. So those prospects are Caleb Durbin and Indigo Diaz. Caleb Durbin is an infield prospect. Indigo Diaz is a pitching prospect. Now, again, pitching prospect. Pittsburgh wants pitching prospects. So maybe Cashman swings Indigo Diaz in a deal with Pittsburgh. I don't know. Just throwing it out there. But they want starting pitching. Uh, Diaz is a reliever. Um, so how do these guys fit into the Yankee farm system? And Caleb Durbin, again, is an infield prospect. He plays up the middle. He plays second base. He plays shortstop. Uh, he was the 14th round pick of the Braves in 2021. Uh, split time last year between single and high A, 105 games. Uh, didn't hit a lot. Uh, he had 241, 352, and 272. But he's very good defensively. He's only made seven errors in his time in A ball. So he's a while away. Um, he's got, he needs time to develop. He hasn't had an at bat in Triple A yet. Maybe that's where the Yankees place him to start uh, and then go from there. Uh, again, it makes you wonder if they're trading for another infield prospect, a, pro a, a position that a positions that they have a lot of talent in. You know, when you talk about uh, the top three of the top ten prospects or shortstops, are one of those shortstops on the move? Will they trade Sweeney or Peraza in a deal for Reynolds or for McCarthy or for Kepler? All right. And what's interesting is that the Jake McCarthy rumors are starting to swirl on YouTube, and it's interesting because I've been talking about it for the last week and a half. So it's kind of nice to see people finally jumping on that bandwagon. But Durbin, like I said, Durbin is an insurance policy. It's to add depth to the farm system at, at that position. Again, what, does that mean that a trade may be incoming in a, in a couple of days um, or a week or two, whenever? Uh, the second player is goes by the name of Indigo Diaz. Again, right-handed reliever. Uh, spent time in AA last year, spent a full season in AA last year, so he's a little bit further along in his prospects, uh, in his development, in his prospect development. So he was drafted in 2019, round 27, and last year in AAA, he pitched 40, 49 and two-thirds innings. Uh, he had an ERA at 3.08, strikeout rate over nine at about 11 and a half, and a walk rate about at about six. So Good strikeout to walk ratio. Now, the thing about Diaz, and the Yankees are known for this lately, is to trade for players that ha that their fastball plays up in the zone. And this is a guy like Diaz. He's got a very good fastball, fastball that plays all over the strike zone. And I think it tops out, they said, about 97 miles an hour. So he's hitting 97 in double A. So you, you would think the velocity might go up a little further. Uh, through his development. So I could see the Yankees placing him in AAA. And potentially, maybe, if he develops well and does well in AAA, he could be part of that. Uh, those pieces that go up and down to help the bullpen if there's injury or if they need bullpen help over the course of a season. So he might be impactful if the Yankees don't flip him uh, for this season. So that's the deal. Like I said, you know, it's nice that we actually got two prospects for Licky rather than one or nothing. Um, you know, like I said, it's not the deal we're looking for. Uh, rumors are that Pittsburgh still is asking for a ton for Brian Reynolds. So it sounds like that that deal is going to take a while to come together. Uh, Pittsburgh's in no rush to trade him because they have him under control. And again, the Yankees aren't going to overpay. So we'll, we'll see with that. Again, that's why I think Max Kepler makes more sense. But we'll see. Again, I'm going to keep saying it. Jake McCarthy's the guy. He's the guy the Yankees should be looking at. Maybe they have, and maybe there's something in the works. You know, we talked about trading Glaber um, yesterday. You know, maybe Glaber is involved in that trade. You know, and I'm starting to see more and more that if you want to trade for Reynolds, you're going to have to get a third team involved. Maybe you get Miami involved. Uh, maybe you send uh, your position prospects to Miami. You send Torres to Miami. Maybe you send some another another. Uh, maybe you send Spencer Jones to Miami and then Miami sends pitching prospects to Pittsburgh and we get Brian Reynolds. So maybe that's something that is in the works. I don't know. You know, it, it's all, it's all speculation, but you know, the Yankees are working They're You know, they're not making their major league roster better. They're, they're making their prospects better. They have to get some pitching prospects back because they traded them all when, um, you know, when they got Benintendi and when they traded for Montas. So 
that's all I got for you guys today. Please make sure you subscribe to the, to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.